Okay, hello. Uh, this is Ryan Ahmed with you, and uh, this is the third video of how to uh, make uh, a third-party um, custom uh, module for Webman. Uh, when we talk about third-party, this means that you are making your own outside of what uh, Webman provides. And uh, as we know, if you've been uh, watching the uh, playlist of uh, uh, Webman module development. Uh, uh, you know, Webman is a, a tool to administer uh, the uh, Unix uh, machine, and also this is I did not mention. You can also administer your Windows machine, okay, using a web interface, okay. Uh, your web like you're administering the services on this machine, okay. Now, uh, the reason that I've added this one because uh, was because, or is because uh, somebody uh, has told me that the um, configuration, uh, or I mean the module that I've made, okay, for the smart array, which is uh, HP smart array. Uh, you don't, what do you say? Uh, uh, didn't have any uh, module configuration section. So this uh, this section module config, when you click it, okay, uh, you see uh, nothing uh, in here, okay, to configure, because I, I made. Uh, because it was just a reporting uh, module and uses uh, the just the, like I hard I hard coded uh, the paths of uh, the uh, commands which report you uh, what's what goes on on the uh, uh, HP Smart Array uh, which you use to combine uh, many hard disks as a single hard disk in a RAID array. Okay, a RAID array. Now you should know about these things if you are a system administrator. Okay. However, issue for you is that how uh, to uh, program this page. Okay. How to write code for this page. Okay. To be, for example, if you go here like in iSCSI, go to module config, you see this. So we're gonna make something similar to this. Okay. And yeah. Now it's gonna take time a little bit because it will have to, uh, you know, it's uh, like you saw, it was a little bit slow because it has to contact the, uh, the PCI card of the smart array. Anyway, now let's see how it's programmed. Uh, how I'm gonna uh, program it. Now, uh, first, as uh, like the source of our information is just from uh, this page okay uh, you go you find uh, webman uh, webman's wiki let's go from the start how how do you get it from the start okay so i go to webman and then you go to documentation to webman.com then documentation then you go uh, webman uh, wiki okay And then we go to development, just for user in a way, and we go to module development. That's all you have to do. Okay. So then you find this link up, uh, on the top. If you wanna, you can of course take it and uh, lo uh, like uh, visit this page uh, directly. You don't have to go to this tool, but this is another way where you can uh, memorize it. Okay another path so you don't lose now here from all of this because we have uh, uh, we uh, like uh, uh, they have like we already discussed and uh, uh, taught you how to make your own module okay but we need only here in this video as we said uh, the module configuration uh, section okay and we want to uh, program it okay so we click on the module uh, configuration and we go to this section. Okay, uh, those are important. Those bullets, each one here, are very important to us. So I'm gonna tell you how to uh, create the section of the or write the code for this section and how we're gonna fill it and make entries. Okay. Now we start first with creating a file. Okay, like this. So. My my module, for example, let's say I'm I'm at the start. 
okay now webmin is installed in this uh, in this path uh, ls uh, i mean the configuration files of webmin are in slash etc webmin okay now my module configuration should go into for example i'm hp spart array it should go here so if you click the double tab there is nothing okay but it should go in this part in this folder okay now uh, the uh, the shape of this file okay uh, the configuration module or uh, the module configs uh, page okay the shape of it okay how it should look like the appearance okay you should find it in this path so a path vi or pico whatever you like okay so i'm going to use pico for easiness okay slash etc uh, sorry slash usr share webman and then your module folder name so here i have hp smart na and like then i write config dot info okay i get an empty file now to make an uh, just a text entry just a text box okay and beside that something that describes this text box you write this way this way i have for example to type the command of uh, HP uh, the path of the command of the H uh, HP S ASM CLI okay so I'll type it like this HP ASM CLI and I add more to it like config path okay equals we will see why I'm writing this way okay now I say path of sorry not this HP ASM CLI okay make it like this and then I type a comma and I type a zero okay now if I want to just uh, an empty text okay just a text box nothing beside it just the text that uh, defines and uh, describes what I should be writing in this place in this place so so I type uh, Control X and I just type yes or no. Let me say the Control C here first. I'm gonna just write it. I'm not gonna go in and out uh, into the file. Okay, so uh, Control uh, Right. Okay, what is it? Control O. Oh, Control O and I press Enter. Okay. No. Too many editors. You'll have to learn so much. Okay, uh, just memorize silly things. Okay. Now, if I just go here and click the module config, you see path of HP uh, ASM CLI. Okay. Now, uh, how? Uh, I say yeah. So this value, how I'm gonna save it? Okay. Let's say I put it like this. Okay. And uh, if you see, if we go here, control X, we said that ls slash etc slash webman hp smart array. Okay, and uh, press enter. I file nothing. Okay, now the saving of the form here should go into uh, press save. So if I press again, you should find config. If I just cut config just to display what's inside it without editing it see this this value this is the value that we just we have just what see we can go back to it like this okay if I press for example type 22222 okay save okay if I cut the file again you see 2222 okay now Save. Okay. Now let's see uh, now how I'm going to get this value, this value. Okay. How I'm going to print it out inside my uh, or use it inside my uh, Perl code. Now my Perl code should should go of course, and not by force of course. Okay. But you know by default from previous lessons. Okay, that uh, it should go in uh, or the code of your module should start from index.cgi. 
okay and you have a Perl code over here now if I want to uh, print that a configuration value all I have to do okay let's say here I'm gonna print it over here okay so I print and dollar config and I make the call an array like this called config and I type like this and I say HP uh, ASMCLI config uh, path and then of course you put this now why I'm doing this because the the file that we saw okay here oh, sorry uh, control X Oh uh, yeah, uh, Control X and just save. So remember, we have dollar config. This, okay, just match it. Uh, let's say this is here. See, config H mean like match this with this. So this one here to the left will be the index, and those are other examples. Okay, we will see what what's the meaning in sh uh, shortly. Okay, no, it's not gonna leave it okay so just understand for now that uh, this here the index of the dollar config is the one that goes in the config.info to the uh, uh, left of the equal sign in this in each line here you have okay so uh, so I'm gonna print it out okay and uh, let's say cancel for now just and here I'm gonna do the following which is like this and this and we say HP uh, ASM CLI path config is printed gonna type access like this just for it look more chaos it's like out of the norm on this page so you see uh, I mean the main page see here everything is organized is neat okay so we're gonna find this going like somewhere in the middle for no reason okay so I'm gonna write it out and press enter now see look with me let's see I, I hope I don't get a syntax error see it was printed if I just also go like this and type the search tag just to make it a comment center not in a different name so okay you see it's gone so this is how you print and take the value of the uh, config.info values, okay? So, control K. Yeah, I'm gonna delete this and control X and yes, and save. I'm gonna quit now. Now, of course, I have to modify my index.cgi to take the values from dollar config from the array dollar config, okay, each time, okay. So we're gonna do that uh, later. Okay, yeah, so I'm done with uh, uh, the uh, config info explanation on how it's written. Now, when you have zero here, comma zero, okay, here you have a comma zero. Uh, it means that you have just a and the module config, just a normal text file, uh, text entry on it. Okay. Now the rest of the types, okay, you can find them over here. Okay, from one till twelve. Okay, zero is just the normal uh, text entry. Okay, like this. Okay, and if you want to make it uh, like, uh, if you take one, it should be like this. If you make it as one. You should make uh, one of many. It will be a radio button thingy. So. It will be like, for example, name. What do you want to, for example, what do you want to say? For example, uh, Apple, okay, or uh, Google. 
Okay, I'm gonna write it out. So let's go try it. Oh, yeah, sorry. So it should be like a one as apple, two, zero or one, two, let's see. Okay, you should add the numbers just for, for it to know which of which. Okay. Now, uh, for example, also, if you want to make uh, the type number two here, many of many. Okay. So type it like two, many of many, it will be a checkbox thing. So you have, you can choose as many as you want. Okay. So W, oh, in here, I'm going to save it. Okay. So it will be like this, one of many. You can add as much as you want. For example, if I want here, because I have to add so many. So I like, for example, three, uh, maybe a uh, motto. Okay. So I right, have the file here. Cool. Now, um, we have to also now, for now, just to know uh, the uh, value that HP uh, ASMR I because this is a uh, selection, okay. So Control X, we're gonna save and echo this, and we're gonna print the configuration. Uh, Control X, I said. Now, yeah, uh, print dollar config. ASM CLI config path okay keep it like this we're gonna print it each time so uh, we go back to the uh, index uh, the config.info because this is what we're going to change and if you want to save uh, module.config now the configuration sorry we'll have to see what what has been saved okay so control X and uh, we're going to cut the configuration file see what's uh, what has been saved okay now nothing has been saved good now I'm gonna say uh, save the configuration now with something like Apple and Google. Okay, let's say Moto because I want to skip one, see what will happen. Okay, and I save it. And gonna cut it. So we have an, like 1, 3. So this means that you will have to uh, like transform this comma separated values, which is the 1 and 3 are, as we saw in the config.info, this is your 1 number apple and this is your three number motto okay for, for motto so uh, you have to use uh, a function from uh, uh, a pearl which can which will split the uh, uh, this uh, this value okay now let's see uh, let's print it out See, you have one three, it will be one string, but you will have later to split it, okay, uh, as one, number one, then one, then number three, each in an, in an element later. This is your, something you will have to do in pair, okay, and let's find the function that will do it for us. Okay, let's say, for example, here, um, what do you say? Uh, yeah, split function not in Python, in Perl. 
split function same thing as is do in PHP because Perl and Python and uh, they call it PHP are the same uh, language almost almost okay like PHP is a simplification simplification of uh, Perl and this is it. this is how they built their uh, uh, reputation the PHP people okay so here you have your data comes like this as you see one comma two comma three like this today we have it like each one you have the you want to split it on the commas okay very very beautiful example so I have the data string here and this is here you just copy it and get a new array called add values okay and this is how you uh, print uh, each value cool now uh, <laughs> Now we saw how uh, things go when it's uh, a selection, multiple selection. Okay. So here number two we saw it. Uh, here you have three. Uh, we'll go like this. So this is optional text. Um, yeah. So this means when you have it like this, okay, uh, it means that here, for example, this is the default value. For example, let's say default, okay. And you want it on the other side, something that you can edit, okay. Put your own. value here okay so it will be like this now <coughs> so if I save it as default okay and save now uh, yeah so Let's see what has been saved. Control X. Okay, it has nothing. Cool. It has nothing. Let's save it. I click default. I say save. Okay, there's nothing printed. There's nothing saved in the file. Okay. But this means that you will. Uh, uh, there should be something for it. Okay, something something should be done for it. Okay, because you can't leave it as default. Maybe if I just type it as uh, echo as one, like this. Let's say one. Okay, control X. Or let's say a default like this. Let's say if it uh, makes it, it doesn't need a number. Okay. So I select, uh, let's see, I change like this, and change like this, and save it. See what what the configuration file will say. Nothing. Okay. So this means that will have it must be a number. Okay. So it can tell it. Okay. One. And let's say, let's see what will happen. Nothing. Okay. So this means this uh, this has to be hard coded. Okay. If you want to use it, use this uh, way. This means this is uh, this value has been hard co hard coded. Okay, if it's something else other than the hard coded, you'll take the value. Okay, so I say if the configuration value is uh, empty, okay, this means it's taking you're taking the default value. Okay, if it's something here, for example, like xxxx whatever, okay, so if I just cat, okay, so it's saved like this, okay. 
and here's the axis good so that one me means that you're taking the default value good now if it's uh, if the config file value is not uh, if uh, if the config value is empty okay now regarding the uh, other types let's go to the next type one of many same like type one but uses a menu so it will be like let's say this is one let's say that uh, this is number four okay remember if you put something over a uh, number 12 you won't find some anything if you see here this is the maximum your two is 12 don't put anything else don't make a mistake and for example type 2 twice okay like 22 okay by mistake you're typing so that's why you will uh, see oh where did it go okay so say same the same thing okay but it will be a menu so you be saving as one two three okay so it's either one two three like if I save Microsoft save okay you got number four okay because this is the number that I've gave uh, I've given okay uh, that I given okay so anyway anyway so uh, here Apple so it will be number one okay according to the index that you gave inside the config file here Okay, if I give it for example here as zero, let's see. Okay, I'll just write it out. Module config, for example, I put Apple save to zero. Okay, Google to be two. Cool. You should put just some kind of an index. Cool. Let's say, for example, let's make it like an apple dash apple. Let's see what will happen. And if I just go to module config, apple save, it will be apple. So this is a good thing that you want to make a menu where the value beside it, the uh, and directly you can instead of taking the number. Okay, then you hard code it. Now it's already in the configuration values. Okay, and this way you can, in the config uh, variable, you can just use it as is. Okay. Now, another type here. Uh, go to uh, one of many. Okay, then we have a five a Unix uh, user. So it can be a Unix user. So if I can't make it like this, I have to delete this list. Okay, because it's a Unix user and type number five, control O, save the file, and then go to module config. Okay, now you ha can select the users from, for example, Debian exam and save. And this way, this is Debian exam has been taken. You can take it from the list of users. Same here, for example, number six would be as it said. Okay, will be the groups, user gr uh, Unix groups. Okay, list of groups. So you can just go to manual config and track, and you know whatever uh, configs are there. Okay, um, uh, what else? Uh, seven. Let's see next one. Seven. Control. Uh, oh, save the file. Okay. Now this this line can be repeated as much as you want. Okay. We can, for example, like write another one. Control. Uh, okay. Control. I go here and another one. For example, here. Uh, HP config path. Okay. And here, for example, path of HP. Okay. Something else. And for example, this can be. Let's say, for example, users. Let's say, let's call it like this. 
users okay and this is username okay and let's say call it uh, why call it uh, group and name okay and here like user name okay and group name Okay, and here is six, and the next one is seven. This is how it goes. Okay. Yeah, so five, five and six, five and six. So it is five and six. Okay. And you can repeat as much as you want of each type. Okay. You don't have to be like maybe you have like we saw here two entries. You're gonna have two entries, okay, of the same type. Okay, we get, I'm gonna show you another one. Okay, so here, see, I have a username. Take a username and a group name. Okay, I can have get here for example, control K doc doc. Okay, see, and for example, this is username one, and this is username uh, two. Okay, and we're gonna see the uh, configuration. Okay, and for example, let's see here. Let's say here, uh, someone. Okay, and equal someone, and let's say number zero. Okay, you can play as uh, as much like this is this is the goal of what I'm saying. Okay, that you can do and add. As much as you want of uh, configuration values, so you see here, okay, and they are they are different, okay. For example, I can add. Now we're gonna see the, the rest, okay. Now uh, here module, okay. Here's a directory, for example. Um, it has a directory chooser, so it chooses only directories. So directory, okay equals what seven yeah so direct to choose from the server of course okay from the server not from your uh, folder Okay, from your computers, from the server, because th you're using webmin, it will list the directories of the server. Okay. Here, uh, a file. Okay, same thing, but not a directory. You see files. Okay, so this is uh, Control K, Control uh, uh, Here, a file. chooser let's see is directory chooser so all you have uh, all you can see for example in the bin file folder okay if I double click it you should see nothing because uh, you know it, it contains only files if I use the file chooser and I go to bin you should see the files okay the usual commands okay now um, also but now Now you can have, for example, a huge text box, okay, multi multi line free text box, okay. So it's so I have to put the size of it after it. So uh, here, uh, big text box, 
and later once we've we're done with uh, with uh, number 12 we're gonna see the whole uh, uh, config values okay how they are written uh, 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 equals big 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 text box uh, comma 200 by 200 oh, twen two, uh, 20 by 20 okay let's make it 20 by 10 I don't want to make it so huge uh, that <laughs> okay it's just the uh, number of rows per times the number of uh, columns okay so here oh let's see uh, there's a mistake here Okay, the first value after the type is the uh, 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 I did not type here the uh, the number uh, nine. Okay, this was the mistake. Okay, so I find it like this: ten by ten. Okay, so if you want to make it more like like. Uh, is done. Let's make it twenty. Let's see. So the width, width first, then the uh, the rows uh, next. Okay. So you got the idea. Box. I made it. It should be a box. <laughs> okay. Now next one we see here. Um, uh, Ten. It's like number one, but you'll have. <coughs> like number one but we'll have additional option for entering text okay so uh, it will be like number one so um, say uh, to the with text radio it should be radio a text box a text entry and this is number 10 and the uh, entry okay Would be uh, one or uh, yeah one apple two uh, two Google and three whatever. Let's see what will happen. Okay, this is important because I want to see what will happen with the third value. Okay. Oh no, yeah, it will take the value, uh, however, uh, like it's saved in the file, okay? So two and control O, and yes, oh, sorry, yes. So this is number 10. And this one, this one, whatever you save it, okay? I'm gonna save everything as is, okay? So let's say here radio, save. There's still two, doesn't matter. Can see I'm data. So so if I could just cut configuration. See uh radio Ah Radio with text entry. Uh, yeah, radio with text entry is empty because I did not select anything. Okay, so I have to go to the configuration and then so if I selected Apple and save it, cat. Now it, go, it goes with one, okay, because the value was one. Now if I just type here anything, 
like radio yeah radio entry cool now there are uh, a very clear because it's just select selections so like uh, here for example user one this one username two is the gdm group name adm uh, someone someone okay director chooser for example choose ben okay and type okay it will go slash ben file chooser then let's say for example the double click down go and okay text box big box okay and save okay so if you see i fill them all see the difference okay cool now the rest of the last two parameter of this type does not allow to enter anything but instead in it adds a header so if i want to make a header similar to this see similar to this one see where it says configure options for smart array i want to make another section below it okay so this is a section i want to make another section okay so it will be okay section okay header okay equal heading okay comma 11 nothing you'll have to do here control o there are no options no nothing but you can still uh, use this value okay as a section header okay i'm gonna make for example here let's say uh, Control K, Control U, uh, talk, copy paste. Uh, and take back the box two. Just name it just for difference. Okay, Control uh, O, there we go. And truck. And truck. See, you'll have another section like this. Okay, now number twelve, the last one is that is that here I have a field entering for entering passwords. Okay, so here it will go like this. For example, let's let's change this big box into like here. Control uh, K, Control U. Okay, let's make another one. Control U. And T, we have made here, here a space. Okay, spaces and lines, like empty lines, are have no meaning. Yeah. Three. Okay, is our name three. Okay, of course, number five and password. equals password three okay I'm just matching the names just for you to know where each each goes okay but you can put whatever uh, data you want so I'm gonna make it 12 okay control O track this means it will change it as such okay Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Username. Okay. Either you ch don't change it or uh, you put it to something. Okay. So if I just put the username three, just put it to something. Yeah. Here it is. It was not apparent. So some something I took like Debian here. Okay. SNMP and I said password 3 don't change, it's just save and see what will happen in the config file. 
control X remember these okay old uh, values so here username uh, password 3 yeah let's try again set to Type save. <sighs> yeah, but I couldn't find how to uh, take that password entry. Okay. Now also there are other values, configuration values, for example this, okay, and the OS type if you want to know the OS type, okay. And the OS version, your operating system, and the path uh, value, okay. Okay, and you can use also to get the path uh, like dollar uh, en of uh, env uh, environment it means okay uh, like here and that's it okay now i couldn't know they did not say, say how should i take the value of the uh, password okay and that's it um, now we're going to fix our uh, scripts okay that I've made here okay so index.cgi I'm gonna make my own uh, config.info okay uh, so I'll have to remove all these okay and just now Control Z, Control X. I'm gonna remove this and go to my index.cgi. See here, I have the base path calls like this. I'm gonna change now where other base path in my program. And take HP UID. Okay, and what else? Now another base path. We have to find all base paths. Okay. This is useless. Okay. This is useless. This is a repeat. And here, HP log also is a repeat here. here also it's a repeat and yeah 
this one this should be changed And you got the idea, just change them, then uh, then you save the file, then you run it. Then you do your own normal programming in uh, Pepper. Okay? Thanks for watching guys. Uh, see you later. Please subscribe uh, to my channel. Uh, thanks for watching.